Jeff, that was, I'm sorry, that was Mr. Just letting them know you're giving appreciation for how much the fans and the parents have put in here to space and no cost to the event here tonight.
number 24, Jalen Paul. Number 45, Dakota Barkley. Number 31, the high flyer, Javon Johnson. Number 25, Brandon Nichols. Number 12, Keegan Fetters. Number 2, D.A. David Anderson. And tonight's officials are James Payne, John Piper, and Charles Smith. Rules of the game. First of all, all dunks are worth three points in all MVP contests. You get a dunk, you get three. Call timeout, you move the ball to half court. There's no alternating possession rule. All jump balls will be jumped. Other than that, have fun. Here we go. And there we have it, folks. The rules and the starting lineup for today's game. I should say the lineups. We'll get to see who the starters here are shortly. But, uh, no alternating position, possessions, Tim. I know you love that rule. Oh, that's one of my favorite rules, no question about it. The possession arrow is one of my least favorite things on the basketball court. I get it. I understand why it's done, so please don't tweet at me. Please don't DM me. I understand why we have it. But that, along with no shot clock in the state of Indiana, please give it to me. Well, it looks like we got our starters here for the Parkview team, which is the team in black. It's Parker Mangus. Tavon Johnson, Brandon Drunell, Jalen Paul, and Keegan Feather, Fetters, excuse me. On the blue team, which is the Boys and Girls Club team, JJ Foster, Anton Berry, along with number seven, George Bechtel, number zero, Barkhouse, Cole Barkhouse, and I'll get the last number when it turns around for you. We are nearly set to tip off. Anton Berry and Tavon Johnson in the circle for the tip. And it'll go to the black squad out of bounds. So possession first. We'll go to the Boys and Girls Club. There was no doubt who was going to touch that ball first uh, on that jump ball, and that is the high flyer, Tavon Johnson. And it's J.J. Foster getting it into Berry, who's being guarded by Brandon Drunell. One. Jumper just inside the arc is rebounded by number six. That's Riley Shane with the putback. And one last look with Brandon Zernell guarding Anton Berry one-on-one. -on -one. Look at the back cut there from Johnson, who was fouled to a nice lady. Tavon Johnson getting his first two points of the game as we are tied at two. That's J.J. Foster with the three. Brought down by Brandon Drunell. Dernell is a rebounding machine, averaging several double-doubles. Don't have the numbers in front of me, but several this year. Kicked out for three to Dernell. And a three-pointer, rims out. Nice rebound by number 13. Three-pointer on its way, and it's good. That's number zero, Cole Barkhouse, getting the first triple of the game for the Boys and Girls Club. A lot of Blackhawk Christian, coached by head coach Martin Davidson, one of the outstanding young coaches here in the fort. Parker Mangus now for three. He'll match it. It's back-to-back three-pointers as the Parkview team ties it up at five. Parker Mangus, one of the three trios of seniors there at Homestead. Uh, he'll be heading to Wabash next year to play basketball. Barry's fadeaway jumper is just short, brought down by Jalen Paul. Paul, yeah. beautiful trip. Jalen Paul can flat out shoot the rock. This kid has high level, uh, watch his jump shot. He gets so high off the ground and it comes off his fingertips flawlessly. Good dunk. Yeah, it was J.J. Foster with the lead for Anton Berry. Now in transition, Jalen Paul going to take it himself. This is on the finger roll. Jalen Paul just took a look at the rim saying, why would you do that to me? Anton Berry's three-pointer left short. That was brought down by Fetters. Keegan Fetters wearing number 13. Drenell for three. No good, but Johnson's there with the putback. It's like you said, Tim, just hanging in the air. Tavon Johnson, I'm telling you, he will hang in the air and figure it out as it comes. Good drive by Bechtel, kicking out. Looks like we might have oh, the scoreboard did go down, so we're going to take a little bit of a break here. Tim, that's one of the improvements that they're looking to do upon here at the Spies Fieldhouse. 
obviously with the run and slam tournament and all the different uh, venues or I should say the different games and tournaments that it's been put on by the Gym Rats organization, this equipment's taking a beat. Yeah, there's no doubt about it. Not many upgrades over the past couple of years, and it's kind of going to disarray a little bit, but that is great news to hear that money's going to be put back into this facility uh, because it's right here on the north side of town, so many ballers out here, and just another beautiful facility for the players to play in. Foster once again leaves it up. That was Anton Berry getting his first two points of the contest. Anton Berry is very athletic, has outstanding hands, and he'll go and play football at Marion. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see how he does and translates there to, to the football. Paul, another triple try there from the same spot that he made the last one. Whoa. Miscommunication there as Foster throws it at OB. Yeah, Foster, a little miscommunication. You're going to have that in an all-star game. You're going to have more turnovers than normal, no doubt about it. It's Keegan Fetters over the timeline. He'll be picked up by Cole Barkhouse right away. Paul back to Fetters. Fetters working off the nice pick, hands. has it taken away. That's Jordan Bechtold in transition, finishes with the lay-in. Not only great hands in the steal, but that's a tough finish with Fetters breathing down your neck for that block. Boys and Girls Club pulls to within one point. Tavon Johnson out in three-point land being guarded by Anton Berry. Good one-one deep man-on-man -man defense there from Anton Berry. Moving the feet, staying in front of Tavon Johnson. Quick spin move, but the jumpers left short. That was Barkus with the rebound. Beckled getting it over to number six for the boys and girls. That's Riley Shane. Shots off the mark, but Anton Berry's there with the putback. Berry's an outstanding rebounder, especially on the offensive end. Boys and Girls Club goes up 11 to 10. Shane trying to keep that one in play, but good quick hands there, getting in the passing lane. Tim, and you had mentioned that that's one thing the college coaches are looking a lot at, it's those 50-50 balls and what you can do with them. Yeah, deflections is the new trend, charting the deflections, there's no doubt about it. It is a huge part of basketball, it's getting your, the offensive team out of rhythm, not getting them the pass and the looks that they want and such. Foster. Foster for three, rims in. Big hand stroke, and no doubt about it, heading to Mott Community College. That's Mott, M-O-T-T. Jernell out of the corner for three, knocks it down. It was eventually going to fall. His stroke's been looking good here, even in practice. Barry pulls up from the elbow, left short. Johnson sky high with the board. Fetters, one on one with Foster, gives it up to Mangus. Mangus pass intercepted. Shane gets it up to, ooh, nice feed between the legs to Anton Berry for two. So, so smooth from Foster to Berry. Went between the legs to the trailer. Beautiful play. Jernell, opposite corner, misses on the triple try. And it looks like possession going to the Boys and Girls Club as we're going to sub in five at a time, Tim. Yeah, it's a perfect amount of kids here. we got 20 players out here tonight, so we'll have two sets on each side. So it'll be interesting to see how each group meshes. That was Will Moreau with the inbound pass. Feed goes over to number 33, which is Joey Rowan. It's Joey Buckets out of New Haven. Three-point try. Three no good. That was Austin Fancher. Long three-pointer, no good for Will Moreau. We're going the other way with Jack Ferguson. That's where Ferguson is so dangerous. Great block by Joey Rowan. That's yep. right. I mentioned Ferguson. He is so tough to beat off transition, but Joey Rowan was up for the challenge there. Ferguson with the board. Outlet pass goes up to Barkley. Another nice extra pass. Ripping away the rebound was number 23, Nate Walpole. And we have a turnover. Walpole, Nate Walpole out of Whitco, Wildcat. He'll be heading to Adrian to play his basketball this year, Jeff. David Anderson on the floor, who's going to the University of St. Francis out of Marion, won a state championship a year ago in the Class 3A. Austin Fancher out of Woodland. Nice run from Woodland this year. Fancher heading to Glen Oaks Community College to play baseball next year. Good defense here by the Parkview squad. Barkley, top of the key is uh, Walpole. Walpole for three. Just a little bit long here. Tracking down the rebound is number 12, and that's Malik Martin from Northside. You don't want to leave him open. Rowan for three. Left-hand stroke, no good. Coming down with the board. Nice was look. Walpole. 
That was a beautiful look by Nate Walpaw. Just couldn't finish. Three-point attempt, Rowan. That one's left short. Rebounded by Walpole. Boy, Adrian's getting a good one here in Nate Walpole with the finish. Are you serious? Went left hand to the left side, went up and under with the reverse lay and spun it off the glass. That was a beautiful play by Nate Walpole. And looking to push it here, crossover. That looked like Fergie touched that last. Nope. Just deflected there by Rowan. 16 to 15 to score with the Boys and Girls Club, the Blue Squad on top. I haven't seen any of uh, David Anderson. Like to see what he's capable of here. Number two in the black. We got 10 minutes and 42 seconds left here in the first half. We're playing two 20 minute halves here at the Spies Fieldhouse. That is number four, Fancher. Rowan being wall walled off there by Ferguson. This is man-to-man -man defense being played. That's a great matchup, Ferguson and Rowan. Good steal. Walpole is showing his game here. Just inside the arc, and the jumper is good for Nate Walpole. The Wildcat is feeling it right here, shaking his head back down the court after that pull-up jumper. Tim, he's not the tallest player on the floor, but his game is large. He's wearing that number 23 pound right here in that first half. Fancher. One on one, going back towards the timeline. Barton with the pick, Fancher, an open look at it, goes long with the three point attempt. Barkley with the rebound, up to Walpole. He's got the hot hand, right hand to take is no good as Malik Martin met him at the cup. Rowan going the other direction, good ball movement. Three point attempt off the mark, just off the heel, brought down by Ferguson. Jack Ferguson with the head shake there, finishes to extend the lead 19 to 16 for the Parkview squad. Yeah, that's that invisible Euro step. That's the new craze. You know, your steps do not count until you pick that ball up. So your feet do constant movement, head shakes to get your defender to commit one way and then you go the opposite. Rowan misses on the floater in the lane. Walpole, a no look feed. Ferguson for three, that's left short. High arcing shot there by Ferguson. Yeah, I'm telling you, he has great hops. And then Ferguson comes up with a steal there on Martin. He's double teamed, <laughs> but nearly fought his way through it with the defense with five Cameron Barnes. You see the handle there that Jack Ferguson's known for, the viral sensation who did a couple crossovers last year in one play up the floor. Uh, the kids got outstanding handles. Moreau pulls up, shots off the mark. Walpole now who's been kind of a spark plug here for the Parkview squad as the three-pointer's on its way halfway down but rims out there for Brandon Nichols. Yeah, Brandon Nichols has a sweet stroke out of East Noble. Fancher over to Rowan, left short, pulling down the board. Once again, Woo! Dakota Barkley. Barkley behind the back, showing you skills as a big fella. Walpole no good, tipped out up top. Anderson has it, left-hand floater. No good. I like that play though, nice teardrop. That'll come with more experience, and especially as he gets to St. Francis. Meeting at the rim there was Fancher along with Showtime. Barkley. And the dunk Ooh. is good for Brandon Nichols. Ferguson, I tell you what, his athleticism has increased and increased every single year. Nice shot there in the bucket from Will Moreau out of Leo. Left him open there, too much space, just rose up and drained it. 22 to 19 is your score. Anderson's three pointer, no good. Walpole in the lane. Another tip as it goes to Malik Martin. I'd like to see this young man get a bucket as he gives it up. Fancher cannot finish. Here comes Ferguson. You want to stop ball? Went with the low dribble, went off the foot. Here's Rowan, Fancher, back to Rowan who lays it in. So that'll pull the Boys and Girls Club to within one, 22-21. Walpole rises up. He was starting to feel a little bit, Jeff. Also sees the writing on the wall as the other teammates are getting ready to check in. You might as well get one more jack. What a block by Barkley. 
Going the other way is Walpole once again just inside the arc. Beautiful looking stroke. No doubt about it, Adrian's getting a good one in that kid right there. 24 to 21 with Parkview on top. Ferguson's dunk was a three pointer, so that's where that extra point came from. All MVP basketball dunks are worth three. Rowan, excuse me, that's Fancher who pulls up and drains the triple. We're tied at 24. Yeah, they went defense, under, went underneath the screen. Fancher says, why not? I'll rise up and drain it, and that's what he did. It may be an all-star competition, but these guys do want to win. Anderson's three-pointer is no good, tracked down by Barkley. Yeah, you don't get to this high level of basketball in high school without being a gamer and a winner as Ferguson drains that three ball in the corner, Jeff. That's going to give Parkview the lead, 27 to 24. Ferguson having himself quite the game already, Tim. Yeah, Ferguson looking good as always. As here we go with Durnell and Anton Barry going to battle at it here on this end. Good save there from Riley Shane. And that's Barry with the triple from the wing. Anton Barry's got to look for Drenell. Like, see, I can shoot. Yeah, they love to bark at each other. They're having a great time out there. Woo, Fetters, beautiful move. Tied up at 27. This is the uh, starting units back out on the floor. Drenell with his high school teammate, Parker Mangus. Three-pointer by Paul. No good, is it? was halfway down and rimmed out. Yeah, I about called that in off the fingertips. I ain't gonna lie, Jeff. Anton Barry, a deep three-pointer. No good, Johnson with the board. Tim Johnson, you know, we're used to seeing him in SAC competition where there's a lot of taller players involved. He's dominating the boards. Yeah, the, he, he normally does. The kid is an athletic specimen. Nice steal by Jordan Beckel. Cannot finish in transition. Anton Barry's there with the reverse lay-in. Three unofficial rebounds on the offensive end for Barry. I'll tell you, Tim, this first squad for the Boys and Girls Club, they seem to uh, put up a little bit more points. Tavon Johnson, three-pointer, knocks it home. Not used to the three ball going in from Johnson, but he's got the capabilities, no doubt about it. Still uncommitted. Fade away. Durnell with a great defense, moved his feet, stayed in front and with the block. <laughs> Turnell not liking the call. Let's get having some fun. We got 4:33 left to play here in this first half. Your score is 30 to 29. The Parkview team wearing black on top. Oh, what a beautiful catch and shoot for Jordan Bechtel. Bechtel out of Columbia City with Parker Mangus had a hand in his face, <laughs> drained it. Mangus taking it. Nearly an and one, but you see he went right back at him, and that's what you love about an all-star game. You get a bucket shot in between the eyes on one end, you come back and try to post and go to the basket on the other. Love to see it. And there it is, Ferguson in transition, throwing down the dunk, Tim. You can tell it, the comfort zone there, it's, it's almost to where it's automatic, 100%. Yeah, yeah. Gets into a D1 level basketball program, weight room, uh, not taking any weight.
Anton Barry's attempt. It's like Anton Barry's going to get an eight for that performance. Up next will be Malik Martin from Northside. Martin with the left hand. I believe they get three attempts. Tavon Johnson from Northrop. Still undecided. He's been having himself one heck of a senior classic. Three sixty with ease. Got yeah, nine for Tavon Johnson. Once again, it's Anton Barry driving baseline with the reverse slam. Missed on the attempt. Good luck there on the finish. Reverse dunk for Anton Barry. They're going to give him an eight. So we'll see what the final tabulations read.
Blake Martin, Northside High School. Looking for the windmill. Martin finishes. Good looking dunk there. Got a 10. One of those numbers was a 10 for Malik Martin. Now it's Brandon Drenell off the backboard to Tavon Johnson. Just misses. We'll see if they can't connect here. Ooh, they're getting close. Brandon Drenell. Tavon Johnson, they're going for the uh, game winner right here. One more attempt. Mitch is going to give him one more. And it goes in. Not with their one, but a make nonetheless. And the winner of the dunk contest is Anton Berry. Having fun with it. Up next, folks, will be the three-point contest, the shootout. As Anton Barry is going to get his trophy. Mitch gets his picture taken there with the slam dunk champ. So first up here in the three-point contest, we're going to have J.J. Foster from Lures, and it's going to be Cameron Barnes from Coldwater, Brandon Nichols from East Noble, Joey Rowan from New Haven, Jack Ferguson from Homestead, Parker Mangus from Homestead, Will Moreau from Leo, and Jordan Bechtel from Columbia City. Anton's going to bring his trophy over for the fans here. And Tim Atkinson's got Anton Berry, Bishop Lewis High School, going to Marion to play football. I was surprised you you just won that dunk contest. I was very surprised. I just kind of joined this kind of messing around. I'm thinking I'll go and just do a little, couple simple dunks and maybe just have Tavon show out a little bit. I guess it come out that way. Yeah, just missed a couple on that. Definitely the high flyer, probably the, uh, the the favorite there. Go back to that first half real quick here. Uh, look like you and Brandon Darnell are having a little fun. You and Johnson having a little fun. How much fun is it in an all-star game like this with the guys you played against for several years? Yeah, it's fun because now you don't have the coaches streaming your ear to do this, do that. So now you kind of go around kind of messing around. Then you can kind of tell from coming walking and pulling from the volleyball line that one time. You guys having fun. So it, it's fun kind of come out and messing with these guys one last time in front of a crowd. It's a lot of fun. Well, Anton, it was a great career watching you. Good luck in Mary, my man. Thank you. We're getting the uh, three-point competition set up here. We got the ABA balls out there. Looks like they're going to get three per position. And once again, it is going to be J.J. Foster to start this thing off. Looks like Tim's got Tavon Johnson. Stand here with uh, Tavon Johnson, Northrop High School. What happened? What, what, what just had happened right there? tired man <laughs> and it really it really wasn't even like one of them dunk contests I could stay hyped for to be honest with you because of my competitors and you know it was fine though you, it was fine yeah no, not the uh, high flyers that you're used to going against in the dunk contest so I could kind of see where your emotion is uh, that first half I was, I was talking to Anton looked like a lot of fun for you guys you guys were going back and forth riffing off each other a little bit how much fun is this I asked him the same thing to play against these guys with each other after playing so long against each other I mean it's a great experience it's my first all-star game and it's our last game I get to play with them you know from school so it was great first half just finish up the game take this dub 
Here's, here's your buddy, Anton. Give, give him some love. Good job, Tavon. So now we got over here, it's J.J. Foster on the three-point competition. J.J.'s got eight made right now. Got 11 three-pointers now. And 13. So next shooter is Cameron Barnes. We have three balls at each post. Missed all three on the first go around. One of three on the second. Two made so far. Not 100% sure how the scoring goes for this as he's got three, make it five now. So he'll finish with eight. We had 14 for J.J. Foster. So that's going to bring up Brandon Nichols. 14 is the number to beat. So Nichols now is six. Eight points now for Brandon Nichols out of East Noble. He's got 12. Two more will give him the lead. So that's 15 points. We have a new leader now. It's Brandon Nichols. Next shooter is Joey Rowan out of New Haven. One, three. Hits all three. So five points after that first chair. Whoa, Joey Rowan. It just is, he's six for six now. Known as Joey Buckets out of New Haven. So he is now seven of nine. Cooling off just a little bit. He's got 14 points now. The next make will give him the lead. 19. Looks like Joey Rowan's going to finish with 20 points. That is bring up Jack Ferguson. Two, three. Ferguson hits the first three, matching Rowan. Oh, Jack Ferguson's on fire here, folks. He just hit six in a row. Top of the key. Ferguson now with 13 points. 15, 17, 18. Oh, Jack Ferguson has only missed one ball. Excuse me, two balls from the top of the key. So Jack Ferguson is your new leader with 21 points. Jack Ferguson going to Colgate. It's going to bring up Parker Mangus.
So Parker Mangus gonna finish with 18 points. That's three points behind the leader, Jack Ferguson. It's Will Moreau now out of Leo. currently with seven points. Make it eight. He's got ten points now. So Will Moreau will finish with 12 points. I'll bring up Jordan Bechtel. From Columbia City, Jordan Bechtel. Jordan Ooh. headed to Wabash to play with Parker Mangus. So it's one point for the first ball, two points for the next two. He's stuck at eight points right now. Ten, Ten points. Thirteen. Sixteen. Ooh, he's gonna finish with 19 points. Jordan Beckel finished up strong. But your winner is going to be Jack Ferguson with 21 points. The MVP basketball three-point champion. And here, Brandon Darnell. Look like you're absolutely having a blast out there. Tell me, tell me about your feelings right now with this squad. Uh, you know, it's just a fun game to get us all together before we go off to college, so I'm having the most fun I can with it. Yeah, you and Anton Barry going back and forth with each other. You know, it's exciting for us to watch it one, one last time you guys go at it. Uh, but I, I'd imagine it's just a lot of fun. Yeah, it is. And Anton and me, you know, we, we were uh, playing against each other and during the season he's a lures kid you know lures home so there's a little rivalry there and me and anton go back a little bit so it's just a fun fun game well, good luck brand it was a great time watching your career good luck at spring art thank you so much that's brandon Drenell heading to sau the spring arbor university cougars and it looks like we got jack ferguson now the three-point champion Three-point winner, Jack Ferguson. I was talking to my partner in crime, Jeff, over here. You weren't my pick, and I want to take that back now. I thought you are more of an in-game shooter. You just proved that wrong. That jump shot looked pure. I mean, I'm just out here to have fun. It doesn't matter. I'm just, it, I mean, it was a competition. It was nice to win, but, like, I'm just out here to have fun. Last, last group here, last gas with this group. We'll talk about your feelings going into Colgate, getting ready for your college. I'm really excited. It's going to be sad to leave all my teammates and all my friends here, but I'm excited. I just went for the last week, and uh, I really enjoyed it. I think I'm going to have a great time, and I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, it's been great watching your career at Homestead. Good luck in the future at Colgate. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. That's Jack Ferguson now, our, our three-point champion. Having fun. One last hurrah here. Mitch putting this together for the guys. These are guys that they have played against or with each other for the past 20 years. So, Tim, you had a chance to go out and talk with some of the guys. Uh, your thoughts so far in today's festivities? Yeah, once again, Mitch Sturm and the MVP basketball organization putting on a nice event for these kids. Another chance to showcase their skills here in front of the fans and the uh, and the parents and coaches and such. But. You know, just even now, you're still you're finding guys that you didn't even know about this year. You know, being here in Fort Wayne with all the talent that we have with Walpole and such. I mean, the, the talent in Fort Wayne and the surrounding area is crazy good. 
the Walpole certainly did show out there in the first half. We're getting ready for the second half here. The Parkview team is on top, 51 to 44. And looks like we're gonna start with the uh, second team groups out here to start the second half. Parkview trying to hold on here with a seven point advantage. We got 18 minutes on the clock, folks, 18 minutes. One more time, folks, we're gonna hear from our Parkview Sports Medicine, the sponsor of today's event, along with the Boys and Girls Club of Fort Wayne. The Parkview team is the team in black. Boys and Girls team is the team in blue. We'll get ready for the jump ball here. In the circle for the blue, that's Ryan Shane and Dakota Barkley for the black team. Dakota from Cherubusco. Ryan Shane from Heritage. Ferguson for the three point and it's good. Getting things going right away is Jack Ferguson. JJ Foster on the other end looking to match. That one left just a little bit short. Pulling down the rebound was number zero and the triple is good for Cole Barkhouse. Good quick hands there for number six, Shane. With the inbounds pass will be Dakota Barkley. Ferguson matched up there with J.J. Foster. High arc and three point shots, no good. Barkhouse with the board. Moreau. Faked on the dribble drive, pulled up on the three pointer, no good. That's a rebound there for David Anderson. Right-handed take. And we got a foul going to be called. That was number 23. Nate Walpole. Walpole, arguably the MVP so far in this contest. Heading to Adrian. Will hit his first free throw. 55-47 is your score. Second one rims in. Row now over the timeline. Barkhouse three point attempts no good. Chased down by Ferguson. Wall pulls to the right. Ferguson has that one swiped away by Cole Barkhouse. Or excuse me, that was Riley Shane. Foster hung in the air is fouled. JJ going to head to the free throw line. 16-42 left here in the second half. First free throw for J.J. Foster is up and in. Representing the Boys and Girls Club team, their head coach is Shabazz Kalik. Second good as well. Walpole's gonna bring it up here for the Parkview team. Ball pull, left hand dribble drive. Left hand lay-ins no good. Dakota, Dakota Barkley underneath, and he's going to be fouled. Barkley heading the free throw line to shoot two. First one is good. Tack on another point for the Parkview squad going to be very, very fun to follow the Defiance College Yellow Jackets the next four seasons with Dakota Barkley, Elijah Holmes, and Devontae Kinney. I believe Elijah Holmes was the first in the area to commit to the Yellow Jackets. Top of the key, Will Moreau, three-pointer, no good as it right rimmed out. 
Anderson from Marion High School heading to the University of St. Francis. Three-pointers left short. Ferguson with the board. Now Anderson, left-hand scoop shot's no good. Walpole working against Moreau. Barkley, a long three-pointer, short. Ferguson with the put back. Jack Ferguson gets the bucket. He'll head to the free throw line looking for the and one. Fifteen forty-six left here in the second half. Ferguson cannot convert on the three-point play. Boston now on the far wing. Ferguson's got the defense on him. Foster driving with the left hand, switches to the right hand, finishes. Nine point advantage now for the Parkview team. But after that three pointer by Riley Shane, gonna pull his team now to within six. Beautiful looking shot there for Shane. Walpole rattles it home. Foster, a deep three-pointer. Barkley with the rebound. Now in transition, nice outlet to Ferguson. Switched to the left hand, could not finish. Number five, Cameron Barnes, over to Foster. Good right hand take by J.J. Foster. 63 to 56, now your score. Anderson to Ferguson. Walpole tracks it down. Out of the corner, three-point attempt. No good. Ferguson with the putback. Nine-point advantage right now for the Parkview team. Loose ball is picked up by David Anderson from Marion. Marion High School graduate. Walpole got his defender up in the air. Barnes did not finish. Rebounded by Shane. Step back, three-pointer. Three-point attempt by Cameron Barnes. No good. And it looks like we're going to be subbing in five for five. Tavon Johnson, Anton Berry once again continuing the trash talk. These guys are having fun down on the floor. We're at the Spice Fieldhouse. This is the Senior All-Star Classic put together by MVP Basketball. Jalen Paul gives it up to Johnson. Already has two three-pointers in, in this game. That one nearly kept alive for Mangus. Getting his own rebound was Jordan Bechtold. Malik Martin rebounded by Drunell. Janelle step back. I believe that is a three-pointer. They're going to give it to him. So Brandon Janelle gives his team the 12-point advantage. Oh. Yeah, blocking foul going to be called. Uh, Brandon Grinnell. Jordan Beckel with the inbounds pass. He'll get it back. grinnell has got the defense on him. Out of the corner, three-pointer. And that ball is last touched by Malik Martin, so it's going to be Parkview ball for the black team. Keegan Fetters bringing it up for the Parkview team. Janelle, nice feed to Parker Mangus as he had the box out on Bechtel. It's a 14 point advantage now for the black team. Inbounds pass goes to Anton Berry. 
Three-pointer by Rowan. Had a nice showing there in the three-point competition. Joey Rowan finishing it with 20 points. One point behind the champion, Jack Ferguson, at 21. So will be Bechtel with the inbounds pass. Three-point attempt. Off the mark by Fancher. Johnson now leading the break. Drunell out of the corner, spot up three-pointer. That one rims in as well. Brandon Drunell now with two three-pointers in this game. He's got 73-56, the Parkview squad on top. Bechtold now at the inbounds being guarded by Parker Mangus. Anton Berry, top of the key, three-pointer is good. Still his team down by 14 points, 73 to 59. Jalen Paul, right hand pulls up just inside the arc. Rebounded by Berry. Blake Martin setting the pick. As Keegan Fetters comes out on Barry. Bechtel going down to the block. Martin, Barry, three pointer off the heel, no good. Bechtel, three pointer. That one's a little bit long. Joey Rowan, floater, no good. As we're going the other way with Jalen Paul. Jalen's pass picked up by Martin. Intended for Tavon Johnson. Now it's Beckled one on one with Fetters. Rowan. Three point attempts, no good. Janelle Lemangus. That pass is taken. And in transition, feed goes up to number four, Austin Fancher. 12 point advantage now for the Parkview team in black. And then a foul going to be called. This one, I believe, is going to go against. I believe that one was called on Malik Martin. Paul inbounds it. Gets it back. Right hand high off the glass. Fetters is there with the putback. Fetters his first bucket of the game. Anton Barry down low. Drew the contact and still finished. You can see why Anton Barry, not only is he going to play football at Marion, but the Knights want him to play basketball as well. They're getting ready to build a new basketball arena there on the campus of Marion. Beck Gold. Fancher 4 3. Rebounded by Fetters. Paul, it's one on two. Jalen finds Parker Mangus, far wing, wide open, no good. Rebounded by Beckton. Nice skip pass. Anton Berry. You know, is he going to play defensive end or is he going to play tight end? Because he showed some good hands there as Malik Martin finishes. Ten point advantage now for the Parkview team. 75 to 65. Fetters out of the corner. Johnson, deep three-pointer. Two for two from beyond the arc. Fetters knocks it down. Keegan Fetters starting to heat up here as he drains the triple. Bechtel working off Anton Barry's pick. Martin gives it back to Barry, driving baseline. Looked like he wanted to go up for the dunk. Jalen Paul was there. Barry nonetheless finishes. Very, very productive on the basketball floor. Throughout his career was Anton Barry and here in the Senior All-Star Classic.
Johnson. Finishes off glass. And we got a timeout here at 823. Looks like we're going to get the next five in. As the blue team, the boys and girls team, they seem to change up their lineup just a little bit. We got JJ Foster here playing with the second group. The Parkview team, their lineup's the same. Dakota Barkley on the floor with Jack Ferguson. Nate Walpole, top of the key, guarding Will Moreau. Barnes, three-pointers, no good. Three-point attempt by Shane, no good. Barkley gets the board. Ferguson looks ahead. No-look pass goes out to Dakota Barkley. Strong take to the cup. Does not finish with the dunk. On the other end, Raleigh Shane gets two. Riley Shane playing for the Boys and Girls Club out of Heritage High School. Could not complete the three-point play as David Anderson brings it down. Ferguson out of the corner for three. Triple's good. J.J. Foster, hesitation dribble, nice with the scoop shot. 12 point advantage right now for the Parkview squad. Anderson's three pointer, another one no good. As Ferguson trying to keep it alive does to Dakota Barkley, now the three pointer, catch and shoot, bounding around. Anderson put back, no good, but he's gonna head to the free throw line to shoot two. David Anderson out of Marion High School once again, heading to the University of St. Francis to play for Coach Chad LaCrosse and the Cougars. First one left short for David Anderson. Six fifty-nine left here. In this All-Star Classic, we're in the second half. Foster coughs it up. Anderson going the other way. Nate Walpole. Three-point attempt. Knocks it down. Good feed by Dakota Barkley to number 25, Brandon Nichols. Will Moreau. Shots off the mark, brought down by Walpole. Nate pulls up, that's a three point attempt. No good, Ferguson reaching for the board. Foster comes out with it. J.J. Foster, a spectacular ball handler, so much fun to watch. Walpole's going the other way. Foster with another rebound. JJ straight down the middle of the lane, finishes with the right. It's a 13 point ad right now. Make that a 14 point advantage for the Parkview team. Dakota Barclays three pointer, reigns home. 90 to 73 as the Parkview team starting to extend that lead in the Fury. Foster has Shane to his right, wide open. Kick out goes to Shane. Three. Riley Shane out of Heritage High School. Knocks it down. Ferguson. Dakota Barkley over to Nate Walpole. Fadeaway jumper from the elbows, no good. Ferguson, and I believe they're gonna call a foul on number 35. Foster steps up and drops the triple. This team now only down by 11. 
Barkley, good find. Three point attempt off the heel, no good. And the tip back, I don't know if that was Nate Walpole or if it was number zero, Cole Barkhouse who knocked that down. The points go to the Parkview squad, up 92 to 79 now. Shane's three pointer off the mark. Barkhouse looks like he was fouled there by Walpole. That's Coach, that's Mitch Sturm doing the PA announcing. Says Shabazz Khalid got the call there that he wanted. His first free throw attempt for Cole Barkhouse is in. Second one, no good. Walpole, no look, out of the corner. That three-pointer is good for Brandon Nichols. 95 to 80, the Parkview team on top. Foster, left hand, no good. Contested by Dakota Barkley, has it stolen by Riley Shane, who finishes for two. They're gonna give Riley two and a half points for that one. Ferguson finishes on the other end. 97-82 is your score. MVP basketball senior classic here at the Spies Field House. And traveling gonna be called on Will Moreau. The fans in attendance cannot believe it. Folks, all the fans sitting on the side of the camera, so you're gonna see the, the backdrop, obviously. Moreau pops it up for a second there. Three point attempt, no good, rebounded by Barkley. That was Cameron Barnes with the attempt. Barnes with the block on Walpole. Foster, wing three-pointers no good. Walpole up to Ferguson. David Anderson has it blocked by J.J. Foster. No foul call, but Walpole's gonna finish off glass. Barkley with the rebound outlet up to Ferguson. Jack was gonna go up with the right, switched to the left and went back to the right. That was pretty spectacular. 101 to 82 is your scores. We have a timeout here, 303 left to play. Our final substitutions. It's Tavon Johnson and the Parkview squad gonna come out for one more turn. Anton Berry and the Boys and Girls Club they're down by 19 points. They need to score in a fury. Three point attempt by Rowan. That one's no good, rebounded by Mangus. Parker Mangus. As Drew Janell has it taken away by Barry. The lob pass goes back to Anton who finishes. Nice lob by Austin Fancher to get that going. Jalen Paul hit in the air and still finishes. Foul gonna be called on Barry. Jalen Paul heading to the free throw line to convert the three point play. And he does. Be fun to see Jalen Paul continue his career at Trine University as their women's programs had a lot of success. Brandy Daw Dawson out of Garrett, one of the leaders of their women's program. Jordan Bechtold now at the free throw line. Jordan misses the first. Once again, he's headed to Walpat, Wallbash, excuse me, to play with Parker Mangus. Second one, no good. Picked up by Keegan Fetters, who's going to Anderson. All Division Three schools. Parker Mangus, nice drive in the lane, finishes the big man. 
Bechtel, nice speed. We're going the other way with Parker Mangus. Tavon Johnson throws it down. He gets three points for that one. 109 to 84 as a three-pointer is good. It's like I missed one along the way. 109 to 88 your score. Betters to Johnson. Three-pointer left short. Jordan Bechtel with the rebound. As it swiped away, it's like it was kicked by Johnson. Paul was the last one to get a hand on it. So Bechtel will bring it up for the Boys and Girls Club team. Has that shot blocked out of the corner by Parker Mangus. Rowan, he can hit that deep three-pointer. Left hand dribble drive squares up to the cup, but misses. Rebounded by Fetters. Good left hand to take there by Keegan Fetters. 111 to 88. Bleak Martin down low, finishes with the left. Drunell with the lob. Johnson with the finish. Get three points for that dunk. 114 to 90. Now your score. 38 seconds left to play. Steal by Paul. Drunell underneath. Lobs it to Tavon Johnson once again. Parkview gets another three. Three-pointer is no good. Looks like they're going to try to get one more dunk in. But Jordan Bechtel's got the lockdown defense on Tavon Johnson as the lob goes right to Bechtel. Underneath Malik Martin with the dunk. He'll get three. That pass going to go OB. So just four seconds remaining. 117 to 93 is your score. So with four seconds left, the lob goes into Martin. He'll finish with the left. Tavon Johnson on the other end throws it down just in time as the Parkview squad's going to win it. 120 to 95 in this MVP basketball senior classic. Yeah, we had some fun with it. A few dunks there down the stretch. But that will do it for today's all-Star Classic. Folks, thanks so much for joining us once again. It's Parkview winning it 120 to 95. My name has been Jeff Mahoney. We had Tim Atkinson in the booth and Chris Cochran on camera. This is SummitCitySports.com brought to you by Parkview Sports Medicine. Once again, thanks for watching our broadcast of the MVP Basketball Senior Classic. We got an MVP trophy to give out. And they're going to talk it over amongst the coaches to see who deserves the MVP. Nate Walpole, a strong candidate for MVP consideration. Jack Ferguson. Another name, Anton Berry for the boys and girls team. So the MVP of the game is Tavon Johnson, your 2017 MVP Senior All-Star Game Classic, Tavon Johnson. So once again, folks, that will do it here from the Spies Fieldhouse is Mitch Sturm is going to give Tavon his deserved trophy. Tavon Johnson still undecided on where he's going to continue his basketball career. No matter where he goes, it will be 
very exciting to watch that young man continue his career. Once again, folks, thanks so much for joining us. My name is Jeff Mahoney. And this has been a Summit City Sports broadcast of MVP Basketball. Have a great weekend.